So, there was a trade rumor today surrounding uh, Nikola Vucevic of the Orlando Magic, and I think it's pretty interesting. Um, it says that the Heat, Spurs, Celtics, and Hornets all have expressed trade interest in Nikola Vucevic, and it's via Kevin O'Connor of the Ringer. So, not like Woj or Shams, but still a pretty trustworthy s- source. Um, there's been no reports that the Magic want to trade him or no reports of significance. So they might just want to hang on to him. He is their best player, but uh, they might want to rebuild with guys like Isaac and Fultz. So this season, the Magic um, are towards the bottom of the Eastern Conference. They have not been great. Um, and really, Vucevic is the only one keeping them sort of afloat. Uh, it's not really their fault. They've had plenty of injuries uh, to guys like uh, Jonathan Isaac, Mark Fultz, and a few others. I'm sure there's some they f- they're forgetting. They have to start guys like Frank Mason at point guard. Um, it's been pretty rough for them. And there is a scenario where they become sellers at the trade deadline with Vucevic, who I'm sure plenty of people will be interested in but also uh, guys like Fournier and um, Aaron Gordon, potentially, if he needs a new situation. Um, So they could definitely become sellers, Um, but they might not want to. But if they were, I think, obviously, there's some teams interested. Um, This season, Vucevic is averaging 24.5 points, 11.5 rebounds, and almost four assists a game on pretty good efficiency he's shooting 48 percent from the field and 41 percent from three and um you know he's been the magic's best player and he's played pretty well and he's 30 years old he is contract runs for this year next year and the year after that so under contract for a few more years and he'll be good for a few more years but doesn't have forever so if we make the case for the magic keeping him and i'll talk about trade stuff um, the case is this year, okay, they're not going to be great, but they get a high lottery pick, and then next year they have that high lottery pick, Vucevic, Isaac coming back, Fultz coming back, uh, Cole Anthony, who would be in his second season, and then if they uh, keep Gordon or whatever they trade Gordon for if he gets traded, and then maybe they bring Fournier back in the off season. Or maybe they just let him go as a free agent, or maybe they trade him and get an asset for him. And that could certainly be be a playoff team, depending on how good uh, Isaac is, how good Fultz is, and how good their pick is. So there's definitely a case for bring uh, for keeping Vucevic. He's under a pretty good contract. Um, He's only 30, and he's the type of player who you could see being. Uh, still at an all-star level for the next couple of years and then even after that still being a valuable player with things like his passing and his floor spacing and uh, Vucevic is a really good offensive player um, scoring from all three levels especially spacing the floor from three and uh, going for pick and pops and things like that Um, he's for over 40 percent on six and a half attempts from three this season and then defensively he's not great But he's not a terrible defender, and the Magic have still managed to be a good defensive team throughout the years with him at center. So um, definitely adding a lot to your offense if you trade for him or if the Magic keep him, and then not totally not compromising your defense that much. So if we talk about the four teams that are rumored and just talk about potential trades, let's start with the Celtics because they could definitely use him. Um, They've been looking for a star center for a while and Vucevic is an all-star um and he could definitely help them out in the trade they have that trade exception so they could fit him right in but I think they have like the hard cap so they'd have to trade some pieces but they have Tristan Thompson's salary and he's a center and then in terms of young players they have Robert Williams who the Magic might be interested in as a center um, Romeo Langford, and then I think they have all their picks. So between picks and pick swaps and Langford and Williams um, and then salary and the trade exception, they definitely have the pieces to get it done. Um, if the Celtics were to make this move, I think it would definitely signal that this is their championship window and they want to um, they want to sort of go all in. They would then have a starting five of Kemba, Marcus Smart, when everyone's healthy, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Vucevic. 
and I think that gives them the juice offensively. And then defensively, Kemba is not great, but you have those three wing guys, Smart, Tatum, Brown, and then Vucevic is okay on that end. And I think that would be a pretty good starting five and definitely bolster them into the same conversation as Philly and the Nets and the Bucks, and give them one of the best starting fives in the league. So I think it definitely makes sense. It's whether the Magic would be okay with just taking the picks and salary and maybe some okay young players or they want a blue chip young star or they just they just don't want to trade him out at all because that's uh, definitely a possibility and might actually be what they want to do so I'm just speculating in this video um, if we talk about the other three teams the heat is a pretty interesting one just in terms of um, how good they could be and the idea would have be having Vucevic and Bam together whether they want to go back to Bam at power forward I mean Vucevic can space the floor from three um, defensively, Bam could cover for him, and then uh, Bam has been showing a mid-range game this season, so I think they'd be just about fine with the spacing. They obviously played Myers Leonard at three at center for the whole of the regular season last year, but in the bubble, a lot of their success was moving Bam to center. Um, so that's a pretty interesting uh, debate that Heat fans, Heat fans can have if they want to. Uh, move Bam to power forward or just keep him at center and maybe look to acquire some other guy. In terms of trade stuff, they all obviously have the salary um, between Kelly Olynyk, who's been playing better decently, and Myers Leonard. Uh, they can definitely get the money to match uh, pretty easily. And then they have those three, those four young guys, Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, Kendrick Nunn, and Precious Achua. So I don't think they'll trade Duncan Robinson just because he's not an expiring, so... Uh, the Magic wouldn't really see value in him, value in him, and if he's ex uh, on an expire, uh, if they have to resign him in free agency, he's more of a player that can help a winning team. But if we talk about uh, Tyler Hero, that's the most interesting one. Would the Heat be willing to put him in? They can't trade many picks. I think they can trade one pick. So uh, the Magic would definitely be demanding a young player. Um, could they get away with Nunn and Achua? Maybe, but they might have to put Tyler Hero in. And if they have to put Tyler Hero in, I don't think they should do it just because Vucevic is 30 and there's still questions as to whether you want him and Bam playing together. And I think Hero is just too valuable for the Heat. But if it's Nunn and Achua, then, and then plus uh, Olinick and Mars Leonard or, or like some combination of that and then the first round pick that I think they can trade then I think it's a pretty interesting conversation. And I think Vucevic definitely helps their offense. If they, if you think about a lineup of, it'd be Drogic, uh, Hero or Robinson, Jimmy Butler, Vucevic and Bam Adebayo, that's a pretty good two-way lineup. Um, Bam and Jimmy can cover for the defense like they did last year and then still provide offense along with Vucevic, Drogic and then uh, hero or robinson and that could be a pretty good lineup and a pretty threatening team so that could make them uh you know a contender if they're not already um but i think the heat should be looking for more of a jay crowder replacement or you know someone who's more of a wing guy uh, like a big bigger power forward a bigger wing who can fill in the jay crowder role and play at power forward because they've just had no one there that year um, this year and they've had to play guys like Kelly Olynyk, and he's not a bad player but and he's been playing better recently but I don't think you're going to the finals with Kelly Olynyk as your power forward so that's the heat I don't see it happening to the heat just because I don't think they'd be willing to give up hero and I think the magic would want hero if we talk about the last two teams Spurs and Hornets let's talk about the Spurs um, they have Aldridge's contract who you know, hasn't been good this year, so that would be the move. Aldridge plus either young piece or picks. I think they have all their picks. And, you know, it wouldn't be a terrible move, but I think the Spurs, they, though they've been good this season, they should be probably more looking to build around the young guys, maybe re-signing DeRozan as he's been a good playmaker, playmaker this year, and having the guys like DeJounte Murray and Derek Wright and Calvin Johnson and Lonnie Walker and then they already have Jakob Perdo, Jakob Perdo at center, who's pretty decent. So between Perdo and Aldridge, I think they're good at center. Um, I don't think they want to give up any of their young guys. 
or be trading future picks. So I don't really see it happening to the Spurs. Obviously, it could happen, but I think the Celtics are probably a more likely team. And then the Hornets. I mean, the Hornets are fun this year. They they're uh, they're in the playoff picture for sure with Lamelo and Gordon Hayward. The Hayward signing suggests that they want to be a good team. And if you have Lamelo, Rozier, Hayward, Vucevic, and then whatever they get to keep from the trade, um, that's a pretty decent team and a team that could maybe win a playoff series or two. The move for them would probably be Biombo, seventeen million. Um, and then some other smaller contracts or a young player. Would the Magic want P.J. Washington? Would they want Miles Bridges? Um, they're obviously not getting LaMelo Ball. Would the Hornets be willing to trade a future pick? Um, I think it gets pretty interesting there, but I don't... Again, sore with the Spurs. I don't really think the Hornets should be trading future picks, or they don't really have that young player that maybe... Uh, the Magic would be really excited about and they'd be willing to give up. So um, it is an interesting prospect just because I think uh, Vucevic on uh, the Hornets would be pretty fun, especially offensively. If you think of him uh, just running pick and pop with Lomelo, they could have like a double ball screen, Lomelo handling it, um, have Vucevic and Bridges setting a screen, Bridges the lob threat, Vucevic can pop out for three. Um, that would be exciting, but I ultimately don't really see it happening as I've sort of settled to that conclusion for most of the teams. So just to wrap up, uh, Heat, Spurs, Celtics, and Hornets all interesting. interested. I think the Celtics are the most likely just because he can help them out and they have that trade exception. Again, I don't know if the Magic would be willing to trade Vucevic. They might not, but if they do, it could be interesting. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Um, subscribe subscribe for more NBA content and I'll see you guys next time.